In this lesson, um, we are going to work on on having our select using a plugin called Chosen. Okay, so if you go into this URL and uh, hit the download button, so you're going to download, um, come into this page and cho choose this version here, and save it into your vendor folder in our project. Okay, so once you've um, you've done that. Um, you can unzip it and you can delete the zip version if you don't need that anymore. Okay, so if we go into our project, there's a few configuration files, um, things to do. So we want to uh, get hold of the CSS from our vendor, uh, our chosen folder. So if I go into our chosen folder, so we want to go into chosen version uh, 1.4.0 and in there there's a minimized uh, CSS which we need so we can say chosen dot minimized CSS okay um, and also there is a JavaScript which we need um, from chosen so again we'll um, type script source and go into our vendor and go into our chosen version 4.0 and we can go into chosen jQuery dot minimized JS okay so we are getting somewhere um, if we go into our page and reset the page nothing happens there's a few more configuration uh, to do in in JavaScript, um, but before that, I'm going to attach a class which we need. Um, so chosen select is a is a class required by by the chosen plugin. Okay, so now we're going to write some JavaScript that sets some default configurations that chosen uh, requires so if I script and this is quite um, quite a long one so well it's a little bit long so you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't need to memorize this if if you're not uh, familiar with JavaScript but you just need to know um, how to retype it <laughs> Or copy and paste it in the future if you need it in a, in any of your projects. So set this to allow single deselect to be true. Okay, no single. Disable threshold and give it ten. Result. still type oops nothing uh, found okay and I have chosen with give it a width of 95 percent so we're, we're nearly uh, we're nearly there so now I'm going to loop through all these settings, go through them one at a time, and um, use a method in chosen to call on them. So that's what this is. For every selector in config, which is everything from line 200 to 204, there's something I want to do with that. So I'll say selector.chosen. 
config select top. Okay. <clears throat> so this is um that's what we needed to do basically to get it all working. So now uh, we see that we can select and choose individual um, options. So that's what chosen is there for, and that's how it is um, integrated into um, your projects. You download it, and then you can use it uh, within within different projects that you're working on. So I decided uh, to focus just on setting up the chosen uh, for this lesson. Um, so you can reference it in the future in isolation and you can use it as you please. In our next lesson, I will work on our text area uh, using what you see is what you get editor. Um, I will see you in the next lesson.